when growing up, one never imagines that the store they shopped at all the time would soon be gone. Well, at least, that's how the mind of a child works. But here we are, the final Sears in Michigan and my childhood store. I've always loved this metal plaque that has been with the store ever since I can remember. As I entered the store, This Is It by Huey Lewis was playing, and I stopped to think how appropriate because, yes, this is it. This wasn't the only Sears that I frequented as a child. The other one was over at the former Livonia Mall. The mall was demolished many years ago, but the Sears lived on until about 2019 when it would permanently close, and unfortunately I didn't make it over to that Sears before its closure because I didn't even know that it was going to close or that it was. The other Sears I frequented was at 12 Oaks Mall in Novi, Michigan. That one is long gone as well. What you're witnessing now is the final remaining Sears in Michigan and all of the Midwest. This is probably the final time that I'll be documenting a Sears and the final time I'll be going inside one. The other remaining Sears are all way too far away and I just don't have the funds or the means to get out to them to document them. This has always been a very nice Sears and resembled the one at 12 Oaks Mall. Sears used to be very relevant as it was one of the largest retailers in the nation. However, in more recent years, they've done nothing to update, nothing to bring in new products, and it's just become stale, boring, and old, and it's a no wonder why they're all dying and closing. Couple this with a greedy CEO who just wants to squeeze every dime out for personal gain, and you come to where we're at today. I have to take a step back because when in history can you say you've witnessed a store that's been liquidating for over 10 years? Most stores come into financial trouble, they file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and then they liquidate, and all the stores are usually gone within a few months. But oh no, not with Sears and Kmart, they have to squeeze every little dime out of this thing, and they've been dragging it on and on and on, and I keep saying, this is going to be the year that all the Kmarts and Sears completely disappear, and then, nope, there's still some left. I get the fact that the CEO of Sears and Kmart just wants to make a quick buck. However, would it not make more sense to invest in your company, uh, have it thrive, and you would make like double or triple the amount of money that you would make just letting it waste away? I don't know, just common sense and logics. I really wanted to let you guys hear just how empty this store was. Unfortunately, with the copyright-inducing music they were playing, I can't. This Sears is at the Westland Mall in Westland, Michigan, and I did film the entire mall a couple of times, so one day I'll make a video on it and we'll be able to go back and look at the progression of its slow and steady death because that mall has been dying as well which is really sad because it is one of my childhood malls. I've had a few comments from people saying that Westland Michigan is a dangerous area and that's why the mall is failing. I grew up in the area and have been back to visit many times since and I can say it's not a dangerous area it's a very nice community. I think the real reason the Westland Mall is failing is because there are nicer malls nearby and the community of Westland isn't doing so well financially. I'm going to leave you here to enjoy the rest of the tour.
Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash Tilted Tripod Media and become a member today and gain access to all of my secret content as well as other member exclusive perks. And thank you for supporting the future of video. Have you seen the Tilted Tripod Media Etsy store? Well, if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Head on over there right now. You'll find all kinds of great merchandise relating to everything here on my channel and so much more. This includes t-shirts, mugs, hats, masks, and so much more, all relating to the topics I cover here on this channel. I've even made a special limited edition shirt dedicated to the Upper Valley Mall. So check it out today. There's a link in the description box below. Now we're going back in time to December of 2020 to check out this Sears when it was fully operational. And by fully operational, I mean it wasn't in its closing process. However, this Sears was not the way I remembered it growing up. They had begun to do what many Sears and Kmarts do during the end of their life cycle, and that is block off parts of the store with shelves. So this is the closest you're going to get to seeing it as it was when I was growing up. I know many of you are fascinated with the restrooms at many of the stores and request that I film them. So here you go. It's the famous Sears Potties. This is what I was talking about, about things being blocked off and just closed. This is the Sears Optical, and the last time I visited this store, when I was living in Michigan, back around 2012, the Sears Optical was in operation. But here, you can see it's fully closed. But this does give us a rare opportunity to go into some of the back rooms, like this little break room you can see here with a sink, and a bunch of cabinets, and I'm not really sure what they were using this for. I guess I didn't realize all the times visiting this Sears when I was growing up that they had a dentist office in the place. But you're going to see shortly the label on the wall here that says Family Dental Center. This used to be the Sears Portrait Studio and it's so blocked off that we can't even get a look at it. Leaving the optical, dental, and portrait studio area, we come out into the kids section on the second level. And you're going to see as I round the corner here, that big vacant spot right there in the middle of the frame. There used to be a checkout there. I can remember it vividly. And this was where you would check out for all of your kids' clothing purchases. You see all the shelving over on the left side of the screen? That stuff didn't used to be there. And yep, you're right, it's blocking off large sections of the store that they are no longer using. And you'll see in this next clip how the aisle just sort of dead ends into a bunch of shelving. That didn't used to be like that either. but we can get a peek back behind the shelving to see what the store used to look like and, you know, all the vast empty space they have. Sears and Kmart are disappearing at an alarming rate, so if you have one near you, I highly recommend that you check it out because it may be the last chance you get. Those were my thoughts on this Sears and just Sears as a whole. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm just going to leave you here to enjoy the rest of the tour.
I hope you enjoyed this final look at the Sears at the Westland Mall in Westland, Michigan. I will be doing a video on the Westland Mall, so make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so that you're notified when I premiere that video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you on another episode of Urbex.